hey, folks, hey, what's going on? This is Wesley. Million Dollar Virgin. There. Hey, guys, um, good evening tonight. As you can see, I'm in, I'm in my assistant's office. And what I want to talk about briefly today, you like my new setup here? I'm getting all fancy, guys. You know, it's time for me to start spending some of money. But what I have here in my hand is a journal, okay? If you have a journal, you know, now, understand this. These are the people that need to watch this video, okay? People that are wanting to be successful. People that want to make millions of dollars. People that are trying to leave their deadbeat, dumbass job. And people who want to figure out how to control their destiny, okay? If, if this is not you, if you're a regular, if you're a regular, regular person, if you're an average person, well, this video is now for you, okay? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some untold secrets on how to journal effectively. Now, check this out. I'm pretty sure if you've watched many videos before and they say, well, you got a journal. You got to write down your goals, right? Now, I'm pretty sure more than half of you have already written down your goals. Who write down their goals? Be honest. What's up, Sonya? What's up, Jack? What's up, guys? Come in. Come in. Hey, make sure you share this out. It's going to be a great video because... I'm going to demonstrate something amazing. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind. I'm going to show you what I did in two years to bring in about $20 million, okay? And I'm going to give you the secret at the end of the video. But right now, I can share this video out because I believe everybody that has a mouth, that has a brain, that wants a better life, you need to know this, okay? Now, what I have here is a journal that I created um, it's a journal that I did, you know, <laughs> I was looking at this early and I was like, wow, um, it's nothing like creating a journal and going back to the journal and looking at some of the things that you were dreaming about when you were poor, <laughs> you know what I mean? When you were struggling and as you can see, it says, can you read that? West road to millions of dollars. Okay. I wrote that two years ago. How do I know? Because I have a date in here. Hold on, let me show you. What does that say here? 2013 goals, right? I wrote this in 2013. It's 2017. I made my first million in 2015. So let me let me explain why some of you guys that are journaling, writing down your goals is not working. Okay, because see, you've heard from other successful people, other millionaires, other people that write books, right? Journal, journal, write the goal, but they don't tell you how to do it. They say, write down your goal. No, it's more than writing down a goal. A lot of you say, you know, I want to make a million dollars. I want to quit my job. I want to be on the beach every day. I, I want a new home. And if you're journaling like that, anybody do? Anybody that's doing that today? If you're if you're writing down your goals like that. I want this, I want this, I want this. You would never get it. It would never happen. The thing is, and this is what I hate, this is the only reason why I do these videos for you because people that are successful, they like feed you like, um, it's almost like feeding a hungry dog. Like say if a dog hasn't ate in three days and you give them one little kibble and bit, and that's what the millionaires, the people that write these books, this is what they do. They give you a little bit. They give you a little bit. Just set your goals. Just write down your goals. But what you need is you need the whole bag of food. Okay? That dog is hungry. And you, you're hungry. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show you the good and the bad as it relates to setting goals. Okay? I'm going to show you what you've been doing wrong. I can see here, I'm professional. Yeah, guys. Look, I'm all professional and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. I got a whiteboard, baby. Now, you may see naked ladies up here. That's not for me. That's for Ashley. She's my assistant. She wants her body to look like this. She's going to be number one on ClickBank, and she got Rolls Royce and stuff like this. I'm teaching her. I'm mentoring her as well to make sure you put your goals so you can see this. This is all her stuff. Not me. Not me. I, I don't have women all over my wall, right? But um, make sure. I need you to do a couple of things for me, okay? Make sure you have a pen and make sure you have a sheet of paper. Because in this video, okay, real quickly here, I'm going to try to do it in 10 minutes. I'm going to show you 
how I, Wesley Million Dollar Virgin, manifested millions of dollars in two years. Now, before, I was writing my goals down like this. You know, I want this. Anybody did this? I, I want something. I want this. I want this. I want to take care of my parents. I want to fly around the world. Um, most people, that's how they set goals. Okay? But usually, it doesn't happen. Okay? Anybody been victim of that? You know, you're setting goals. You're writing these goals down. You got your journal. You probably journal for a week. And you're like, this ain't working. Right? Um, it's a way to do it. Okay? And what I want to do is, um, before I start writing, I want to read a little bit on my journal. Okay? If you guys don't mind. Thanks for liking and sharing this video as well. What's up, Steve? What's up, Demikos? Um, because, you know, it almost made me cry. Yes. Wesley, cry. Sometimes. Sometimes, guys. Sometimes. Um, so I have 2013 goals. And I'm going to read this to you. Because I want you to see, see where you are right now is where I was when I was writing these goals. So you need to pay close attention to what I wrote. Okay? And more important, how I wrote it. That makes sense? Okay. Now, I got big dreams, baby. So this is what I wrote. And I said, I will... Purchase my RA Audi V10 Caprice Throw Exhaust. Help and enroll 100 people per day who will buy a membership at 7dayfitness.com. 7dayfitness.com is my first internet company. Okay, I said I will help 1 million Houstonians to get in the best shape of their life. Um, I had the largest boot camp in Houston, Texas, about 200 people. I don't know if I, I reached a million people in person, but online, I, I know I did. Um... I want to sell a minimum of 25,000 DVD sets and build my $2.6 million home in Royal Oaks. Guys, right now, I'm getting ready to build my $5 million home. Now, I wrote this in 2013, guys. If you follow me on Snapchat, if you don't, I'm at 7 Day Fitness. That's spelled out 7 Day Fitness. Follow me on Snapchat because I want you to see the journey, okay? That's what's important. Not all the glamour, not all the stuff. You need to see my journey because right now, you're in the journey. Anybody in the journey right now? If you're in the journey to make millions of dollars, say, yes, Wes, that is me. Okay? If you're not trying to become a better version of yourself, this video is not for you. Okay? No offense. Go party. I know it's Friday. Go drink. Go hang out. Go dab. Dab. Go dab in the club, baby. Right now, I'm trying to teach people that want to freaking win, okay? No bullshitters here, okay? Let me keep reading. Um, I said I will rent my beachfront property in Hollywood and Miami. Guys, next month, my, my children are coming into town, and we're going to Miami for a couple of weeks, and I'm going to close the deal on a property, South Beach, I think it's called the Flamingo. I'm going to get me a, um, a beachfront property out there next month. Now, what's in 2013, guys? And check this out. I will purchase a brand new G-Wagon 63. Look at this, guys. Look at this. I don't know if you can read that. I will purchase a brand new G-Wagon. Now, if you live in Houston, Texas, you have seen a black matte G-Wagon rolling around in 24 inches rims, right? That's my hang, of course. It's my G-Wagon. I wrote this in 2013, guys. I will buy my dad his dream car. How many of you guys seen the video of me giving my dad the car of his dreams? I did it. I wrote this in 2013. This time, guess what? I didn't have 1,000. This is no lie. I swear to God, man. Sometimes, wow. I didn't have $1,000 in my bank account at the time. And I was writing this down. And guess what? Last year, I bought my dad the car of his dreams. I wrote it. Check this out. I would give my mom... $10,000 to shop with, okay? Now, have I did that yet? Well, I can if I want to, right? But, I mean, um, I did. But I bought her a car, too, so it's all good, right? She has a brand new car. She has an Audi, right? But if I want to give my mom $10,000, I can if I want. Oh, actually, I did. Just the other day, a week ago, I gave my parent $15,000, okay? So, guess what? I overseeded my goals, Damn. Pay attention, guys, all right? Um, I will buy my baby mama. Yes, 
Wesley Virgin has children. I got a baby mama. I'm not going to say baby mama. I have a great, I mean, this woman is amazing. She takes care of my children. She's done a great job. And guess what? You know what I wrote? I wrote this in 2013, guys. I said that I will buy her a brand new vehicle. I bought her a car, I think, two years ago. Cash. I bought her a car because she needed one, all right? And I take care of her 100%. I was, oh, I will start a college fund for my kids. Guess what? The college, the college fund for my, my children, they both right now today, each of them have $200,000 to go to college. It's already done. I have two children, two amazing, beautiful, amazing. I love them so much. I got a little boy and a little girl, and they already have their college paid for if they choose to go there. Now, I'm not forcing them. They can do whatever they want in life. But each of them, David, who is my son, he's my superman. He has $200,000 that is already set aside for him. I have... Uh, Deasia, who is my princess, my baby, my heart, $200,000 for her, okay? And I wrote this. Guys, make sure you share this video out because people need to see this, okay? Because if anybody's ever followed my journey, okay, years ago, I'm showing you the blueprint right now, okay? Um, go to Paris. Wow, look at this. Go to Paris and Colombia and the DR. I've been to Paris three times, because you know I shop in Paris. I've been to Colombia, Medellin, right? And I've been to Dominican Republic. And the funny thing about Dominican Republic is, like guys, I didn't tell you, I'm, I'm getting ready to go to Hawaii for a while, I'm going to Maui. Uh, I'm gonna go to a private mastermind next week. Like, like oh man, Wes, you gotta go? Yeah, I gotta go to Hawaii. Um, but my children are coming in town, we're going to the DR, okay? We're going to the Nickelodeon thing. It's amazing, right? It's like we're going to stay in this pineapple. So it's like a SpongeBob experience. And it's going to cost me, I think, just for that, just for one week, it's $24,000. And guess what? I wrote it in the journal. Let me keep reading here. <clears throat> now, look at this. Look at this. Now, listen to this one. I'll be the most famous person in Houston, Texas. You might say, well, Wesley, why do you want to be famous? Okay. Um, <laughs> I think everybody wants to be. But I know you said, oh, well, so I don't want to be famous. Just give me the money. Let me tell you why it's important to be famous. And a better word for famous is significant, okay? I want to be significant in people's lives. Does that make sense? See, when I'm doing these videos, the only thing I want to do is add value to you. You may hear something. You may feel something. I may say something to you that makes it click, snap, and you say, oh, I got it, Wes. Thank you. I appreciate that, Wes, right? So the more famous I become, that lets me know that I'm doing a good job. That means I'm actually adding value to people's lives. I'm actually changing. My goal is to change one billion people's lives. My goal is to make one million millionaires. It's not that hard. And my goal is to develop your belief so you will see it's not that hard as well. But right now, I know you think it's hard. So yeah, thanks. I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there, right? Um, I'm going to buy me a $30,000 wardrobe and donate all my current clothes. At that time, guys, years ago, I didn't buy clothes for a long time. I was really like, I mean, I wanted to make millions of dollars. I wanted to be really successful. So I focused on this. And guess what? Do you know, last time I went to Paris, if you follow my Snapchat, you'll see what I do, right? I travel every single month around the world, okay? I've been to over 35 countries already. Now check this out. I spent over $60,000 on clothes, shoes, watches, and whatever. But I wrote 30 grand right here. This is when I was wearing, <laughs> oh man, what was I wearing? Like Walmart shoes? I don't even know what I was wearing. I have no idea. I was wearing like cut up, cut up boxes, right? Holes in my pants. You know, you know, you know when you watch something, you get those stains or you get those, uh, those bleach stains. Yeah, I was wearing those shorts, right? But I say, you know what, one day I will be able to spend $30,000 on clothes, on new wardrobe. If you see my closet, my closet is probably worth over $200,000, guys. I got over 100 pairs of shoes. I got maybe 50 pairs of pants. I don't know. It's so much. I have two closets. But I wrote it here. Now, stay with me because I'm going to show you how to do it. That makes sense? All right? Because this is so important. 
I know you think that when I'm Wesley, teach me the techniques. Teach me how to do it. No, that is 10% of the deal, my friends. 90% is what's going on in your mind and your belief and what you're writing down here, okay? And let's go here. Um, donate $10,000 to St. Jude's. I did that. Um, I have a couple of charities I support, and I'm always giving money. I'm always feeding people every weekend. We try to buy food for the children, for women, and I'm going to build my Virgin Foundation, which I'll be able to house 5,000 families, women and children, clothe them, feed them, and teach them, okay? Um, another thing is give my kids more and more love every day. Uh, my children, they love me. They do ask them. Uh, <laughs> all right. My children, they love me, okay? Um, here you go. Make 1K to 5K per day effortlessly. I wrote this down. At that time, I wasn't even making $100 a day. God, I didn't make one sale online when I wrote this. I was trying to figure out the business, like what you're doing, right? You're trying to figure out how to monetize, or you're probably trying to figure out how to make more money on autopilot, where you don't have to always be in the business every day to make money, right? I just wrote this down. You know, that's why I really believe in that book. Whatever a man in his mind can conceive and believe, he can achieve. And I said, I will make $1,000 to $5,000 per day effortlessly. When I say effortlessly, that means I don't have to do a lot of work to make the money. And guess what? Well, we're not making 5 k guys. We're past 10 k a day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I know it's funny, guys. But look, I wrote that down, right? I wrote that down. Okay? All right, I'm going to stop right there. Now, does that make sense? I gave you a brief preview of my journal. Now, it's great because, see, I wrote that in 2013. <laughs> I wrote that when I was in a small apartment. And guess what? You see these things on the wall, but this is the same thing I had. Like, if you would ever come to my apartment in Houston, Texas, all right, it was a one-bedroom apartment, <coughs> and, <coughs> and you couldn't walk through my home without seeing something on the wall that I desired. Whether it be a car, vacations, doing stuff for my children, for the mother of my children, for my parents, for the community, it was on the wall in every room. Okay, we'll get to that later. Now, let me see if you can write this. Journaling, hold on, let's see. Can you see that? Can you guys see that? Journal. Journaling, how to do it, okay? How? How? This is what millionaires don't tell you how to do. They don't tell you how to do it. They're not detailed, okay? Tonight's going to be a little detail, okay? Write this down. When you journal, make sure that you write it in the present tense. See, wanting something and say, I am something or I have something is two different things. See, when you want something, your mind is focusing on the lack of it. Does that make sense? Like, I, some of you guys need a brand new car. Some of you, man, my car is breaking down. I need a brand new car. And you say, you know, I want a brand new car. Man, I really want a brand new car. But when you say, I want something, your mind automatically think of the lack of. Are you with me, guys? Please stay with me. I don't want to be a little bit too esoteric here. But I want to show you the powers of the mind and how this works. Does that make sense? When you want something, you want a husband, you want a wife. You want a better job. Think about when you say this. You know, like if you see me driving in my Lambo and I just pass you up, man, man, I want a Lambo. Man, I want a Lambo so much. Oh, I'm going to get a Lambo. Some of you say, well, I'm going to make a million. You'll see. I'm going to make a million dollars. I'm going to get the Lambo. I'm going to get the house. You'll see. You'll see. Well, the problem is your mind is thinking about the lack of it. Because when you want something, that means you don't have it. So this is how your brain works. Your brain says, okay, you want all this stuff. But the brain doesn't even understand how does it feel to have it. Does that make sense? Your brain can only attract, you can only bring in your thoughts. You can only attract the things that your brain feel that it already has. Let me say it again. When you want something, okay, if you say, I want that thing, your brain is not convinced. 
your brain only focuses on the lack of it because you saw someone else. Like you see me, right? I'm taking the vacations around the world. In your head, you're thinking about, man, man, he's lucky. I wish I could have that. Man, I want that too. But see, your brain is thinking about the lack of it. You're thinking about, damn, I don't have it. So that's the vibration you're giving the universe. You don't have it. I want it. Wanting is not enough. Write this down. Whenever you journal going forward, okay, please write this down. <sighs> write down, I have it. Okay? Let me write that down. I have it. I have it! And I know some of you guys right now saying, well, where's your life? I don't have it. I got a clunker, man. I don't have the mansion. I got a one bed roast study. We got roaches everywhere, Wes. Right? <laughs> Guys, your brain and your thoughts do not know the difference. When you write in your journal, I have the car of my dreams, and I have a beautiful Mercedes, and it's red. And it's an eight-cylinder, and it's fast. And I just got my hair done. I'm looking good. My nail. So when you write that down, automatically you're triggering feelings. That makes sense. See, let me let me see if I can give you a story. Okay, hello. Um, a good metaphor here. <sighs> Have you ever watched a movie? Okay. And when you were watching a movie, it felt like you were there. Ladies, if you was watching a love movie, you know, you're like, oh, these people are in love. Oh, he did this, he did this. Oh, now they got back together. Yes, oh my God, they got back together. Now, let me ask you a question. Did you feel a certain way when they got back together? You know, at first, it's conflict. First, people cheating. Maybe people fussing and you don't love me. I don't love you. Then at the end of the movie, they come together. And you feel the same feeling that they feel. Anybody watch a movie like that? Well, that's how your brain works, okay? See that movie? See, your brain doesn't know that you're watching this. It, you're having experience within yourself. That's why sometimes when you watch those chick flicks ladies, you know, women get married and you're single, you're like, I want to get married now. Man, I need. Then you tell, tell your boyfriend, hey, when we going to get married? Because you just watch a woman get married. And guess what? You felt the same feeling even though it was a movie, right? It was just an actress. You felt the same feelings, which provoked thought. And you said, man, I want that. Right? Does that make sense, guys? So when you're writing your journal, you're doing the same thing. See, it's important for you to conjure up the feelings of having the house of your dreams. To conjure up the feelings of having the money. The feelings of having the vehicle, the car. Or having the business that's working on autopilot. Or being able to put your children in private school. Or being able to put your children in sports and with not, you know, not worrying about the money. To be able to fly around the world in first class and shop how you like it. When you're writing in your journal, if you're not feeling excited, write that down. If you're not feeling excited and happy when you're writing, you're doing it wrong. And most of you guys, you're writing your journey out of frustration. You're writing in your journals out of like, it's a task. Oh, I got to write in my journal today. Damn. Oh, man, I forgot to write in my journal today. I didn't write in my journal today. Well, guys, if you think and if you feel that it's a task to write in your journal, well, you will never manifest the things into your life. Okay? When... I was writing in my journal for, well, that's 2013, so that was like, what, four years ago. I would go to a park, and it was a very rich neighborhood, okay? Beautiful houses around me, beautiful people, happy people. I would just go there, okay, every day for like 30 minutes. Because the thing is, I wanted to make sure aesthetically things around me was like, I was like, oh, okay. Now I feel good right now, okay? Because it's important to feel good when you're writing in your journal. And I would create these stories, okay? That's another thing. 
I would write down the story and say, you know, today I just woke up and I just had the best meal of my dreams. My chef just prepared me an omelet and they asked me if I wanted extra cheese. Then I got my green drink right here and, you know, I had my smoothie on the right side and I was able to leave there and get in my exotic, beautiful car. I went downstairs and, and I was thinking to myself, well, Wesley, which car are you going to drive today? The Lamborghini, the Maserati, the G-Wagon, or maybe the BMW i8, or maybe the Jeep, or maybe the car that. And I would choose the car, I would go to the gym, I would work. Now, I wrote this in my journal. Okay? Write this now. Every day, you need to write down the story. Because right now, you are telling yourself a story about your life. Does it make sense? Hold up, guys. Does it make sense, guys? If this is making sense, hit the like button, please. I don't want to go over your head, okay? If you have questions, put them below. If this is making sense, please hit the like button. Right now, every one of you, okay? It, it doesn't matter if you're alive. It doesn't matter if you're watching a playback. You have a story for your life. Some of you say, you know, my life just doesn't work. Some of you say, well, you know, I can, you know, every time I say I want something, I procrastinate. Some of you guys say, well, things are never happy for me. Some of you guys, you just say, man, how am I going to do that? Wesley, look at my situation. Look how bad it is. How am I going to be able to do what you do? I don't understand. Well, Wesley, I need a job. I got to have a job. I just can't quit like you did. That is nothing but a story. Does that make sense? That's not reality. See, most of you think that's your reality. Even though it's not actuality. Okay. You think that the story that you're telling yourself is legitimate, and it's not. But when you keep telling yourself the same story, I got to go to work, I got to do this, I never had the opportunity that I want, things never work out, I wish it could be me, why, do, why, why are people winning and I'm not winning? Why can't I get a better job? Why can't my business work? Why can't the kids get better? Why can't I find a man in my dreams? Why can't I find a woman that loves me? Why do people keep cheating on me? These are questions that are creating a story that is screwing you up. How do I know? Because I did it too. Okay? I know different from you. I used to do the same thing. I didn't understand what I was doing. You know, you know how sometimes you're talking to somebody and say, man, I screwed up today. And we don't think about that, right? You're like, oh, I'm going crazy. Where am I? Like, say if I lost my keys. I'm going crazy. I know I have my keys right here. Okay, I am not crazy, guys. Where is We don't pay attention to some of the words that we're saying, okay? Only because we've never been taught this. But the words that you're creating, you're creating a story for your life. And when you do it repeatedly, over and over again, guess what? Now, that story becomes a reality. So whatever's going on in your life right now, that's your reality. You're creating based off a story that you've created in your mind first. Everything. I know some of you guys say, well, no. Where should I... I mean, some things I don't have, they're not even within my control. And I'm going to tell you, they are. Everything. Everything starts with a thought. Everything starts with a feeling. And you are creating it. And that's your reality. But I want to show you how to fix it. When you're writing your journal, write in the present tense. I want you to write... And you can say, well, I'm lying to, lying to yourself. Who cares? You're lying to yourself already. Some of you guys say, you know what? I'm a dumbass. I, I, I mean, I, I hear people say, damn, I'm a dummy. Oh, my bad. Oh, I'm so stupid. How many of you guys have did that? You know, you make a mistake. You're like, oh, man, I'm so dumb. And you scream. <laughs> right? Remember my last video when I say when you use emotion, when you use a feeling towards a word? Do you understand that your brain doesn't know that you're Playing around? Your brain says, okay, you dumb. Okay, no, it's, it's time to start doing dumb stuff, okay? Because that becomes your identity. you got to watch the words. The words are so important. Especially when you want to make millions of dollars. You want to create this amazing life. It's not that difficult. When you're writing down your goals, one, write it in the present tense. It will change your life. Guys, I did this for two years. Two years, I started a company, and I made millions of dollars. Before that, I didn't even make $5,000 per month. 
that told me something. That it wasn't really like I had to waste so much time to do anything. I just had to do it right. When I started to tell myself, I am a millionaire. I am great. I am bold. I am worthy. I am prosperous. I drive the cars of my dreams every day. I travel around the world today. Sometimes when people talk to me, I say, yeah, I'm getting ready to go to uh, getting ready to go to Puerto Rico to do a conference out there. Oh, really? Yeah, thinking about doing that. Oh, actually, um, me and Oprah, uh, we got a meeting in two weeks. I used to tell, I tell people that today. You might say, oh, you're lying. So what? This is what's going on in my mind. See, in my mind, I'm having dinner with Oprah. Check this out. And I want you to, <laughs> guys, please save this video because I want you to hear this. I'm having dinner with Oprah, right, next week. We're drinking wine, Moscato. I like Moscato. She probably like Merlot. I don't know, okay? And we're eating mashed potatoes. We're eating Hawaiian bread. And we got a beautiful steak here, okay? And I can see Oprah's whipping up a nice little, uh, <laughs> not just say like whipping up. She's whipping up some nice rice for me with some butter on it, right? And a nice juicy steak. And I remember, and I can see me sitting down, and we're in one of her homes across um, internationally, okay? And I can see me holding the wine glass. And I can see her looking in my eyes and say, Wesley, you're great. You're amazing, young man. This is your time. I'm proud of you. And bing! And we drink together. See, that movie runs in my mind every day. Now, see, the thing is, when I told you that, you might say, well, okay. But I don't know. How is this going to happen? But watch it happen. See, it may be one year, two years, three years. I don't know. But see, check this out. The time is irrelevant because in my mind, it's happening right now. And I'm like, oh, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful I had a chance to meet Oprah and do business with her and do some amazing things for people around the world because they need it. You know, I'm just so grateful I had that experience with her. I'm, I'm so grateful that she's my best friend. You know, I can call up on my phone if I need to talk to someone. This is what's going on in my mind. The question is, what is going on in yours? What are you thinking about most of the time? When you're writing down your journal, see, when you write down stuff, you're only writing and you feel the lack of not having it. You're not excited to do it. You're looking at your journal as a task, the task for the day. Oh, that's my to-do list. Check. Go to my journal. No. <laughs> You'll never be able to manifest anything if you approach your goals and dreams like that, okay? <sighs> when you write in your journal, write in the present tense. Who has a journal? Anybody? Put it below. If you got a journal, let me know, okay? If you got a journal, let me know. Put a picture of it below. Who cares? Whatever. What I want you to do, I want you to write in your journal, and I want you to use the words I am and I have it already. And you're grateful about it. If you're looking for a better home, say, man, I have the home of my dream. It's four bedrooms, four-car garage. It's beautiful. We have a beautiful pool for my children. They're laughing. You know, little Jimmy is doing flips in the pool. I'm kicking in the, I'm cooking in the inside kitchen today. This is what you write in your journal. Not just confessing with your mind. You got to write it down. Why? Because when you're writing it down, right, it takes time to write down letters, right? But you're having an experience. It's the same thing when you're watching the movie. You're having an experience. Like you're there. See, when you're writing it down, the more that you write, look, I wrote in this journal for like a year, every day. And the more I would write, it became a hive in me. Does that make sense? I was excited. Every morning when I would get up, I was like, man, I get to write in my journal today. Yes! I get to go to the land of paradise today. This was the land of paradise for me, guys. Because I can create it like I wanted it. Even though things around me wasn't working correctly. Even though I was having issues, I still had bills, I still had problems, I still had situations, I still had events out of my control. But when I was here, I had total control. See, this, you can create it like you want it. 
in your mind. You, and you just get happy. You're like, oh man, I'm doing this. Uh, you know, I'm just, I went to Paris. You know, I hung out with Kanye West. We had some, whatever you want. I created the experience in here. Um, something fell out. Oh, oh, I got something special for you guys. Hold on. Well, wow, look what just fell out of here. Checks. Now, you remember my video on checks? You know, it's so funny. You know, everybody, everybody's watching the video. You're going to have the same experience, I'm telling you. You know, once it happens for you, you make your millions of dollars or you quit your job, you run your business and you're traveling the world, you're driving in your beautiful car, and you're looking at people, admire you, look at you and say, hey, what do you do? You're going to go back because everybody's going to have that closet, right? That you're going to have all the stuff you did, vision boards, goal setting. And look at this. See these checks here? I wrote these checks to myself years ago. And this almost brings tears to my eyes. I put seven day fitness, $25,000. And look at the date. Wow. I wrote this in, wow, 8-28-2011. Look at this. Look at this. Can you guys see that? I want to be transparent with you guys. Don't take my account number, guys. Don't try to get my money. No, I'm just kidding. Look at it. Seven day fitness. So what I would do, I would get checks from the bank. I didn't have no money. I was negative, straight up negative a thousand dollars. But I got checks. They gave me checks. And I wrote to my company. I said, Seven day fitness, you just made fifteen thousand dollars, sir. Look at that. You see that? Fifteen thousand dollars. Two thousand eleven, I wrote these checks. Gallery furniture. Look at this, guys. Oh, I was looking for these checks. This is amazing. Look at these checks here. Gallery furniture. I wrote a check to myself. <laughs> In 2011, that I go to Gallery Furniture and spend ten thousand dollars. I did. I mean, I did that many times, right? A Porsche. I haven't got the Porsche yet. I can go and get it. Look at it. Porsche. One hundred sixty thousand dollars. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Look at this. Charles Martin Builders. I wrote the check out to the building company. Look at that. What does that say? Two, two million, three million dollars. Look at that. These are checks that I wrote. I wrote these checks because I knew one day I would cash them. Guys, you know what the funny thing is? You know, I got this from Jim Carrey. Anybody know who Jim Carrey is? He's the Dumb and Dumber guy, right? The white guy that was a comedian, played on different movies. He said he wrote himself a check for $10 million for services rendered. And he put it in his wallet, and he gave himself five years to get it. And he said over years, it deteriorated and it deteriorated. In the movie when he did Dumb and Dumber, wow, he made $10 million. This stuff is real. You guys, I'm telling you, this is real. This is crazy. Seven Day Fitness, $2 million check. Seven Day Fitness, $1 million. Seven Day Fitness, $50,000. Man, do you understand when I made my first million, man, every week, $90,000, $100,000 a week, I was making hundred. That's when it was like, oh my God, this is crazy. Now it's normal for me, right? And I was like, man, $80,000 a week? People don't even make this like in two and three years. I'm making it like every seven days, $100,000. But look at this. Look what I did, though. I wrote the checks. This is 2014 here. I wrote the checks three years ago. Wow. Isn't that crazy? I made my first million in 2015. I wrote this check in 2014, guys. Isn't that crazy? Look at all these checks. Credit cards. I said, I'll pay all my credit cards off. I paid my credit cards off with one lump sum. Look at that. All credit cards. Guys, you should be doing this. I'm giving you the blueprint. I'm telling you exactly. I'm a multimillionaire. I'm not trying to oppress you. I'm trying to impress upon you that this is real. That I manifested the life that I had today. I didn't know how I was going to do it. But I had a dream, I had a belief, I had passion. And I did the work. And it happened. Look at this. Damn. Look at all these checks I wrote. I wrote a check for my G-Wagon. Look at that. Mercedes. Isn't that crazy? Oh, this is crazy. Look at this. My Mercedes cost $180,000. Look at that. What did that say? My Mercedes cost me $180,000. This is a check for $170,000 that I wrote a year before I had the money. But I said, I got that Mercedes. It's done. Hey, we're writing the checks today. And you know why we used to put these checks? 
I used to put them right on the bar. So when I walk in, I would, say, I would see all the checks. Not bills. I would see checks in my name. Getting the stuff that I wanted. Guys. <sighs> Guys, if you're feeling this, hit the like button and share it out. Because somebody need to hear this. Maybe you. Because I know some of you guys right now say, what, Wes, I've been doing it all wrong. I've been doing it all wrong, Wes. I've been writing goals. I want this. I will achieve this. No, not I will achieve. I have achieved. Not I'm going to get this. I have. Thank you. I'm grateful for it. Not, I want to be this person. I am this person. See, most of us, well, I'm going to write this down. Hold on. Most of you guys, you believe that you got to have it first, right? You say, Wesley, I need to have the money first. Then I can do the stuff. Then I can be the person. Okay? Have, do, be. That's what most of you guys, that's how you believe. You say, once I have the money, then I do this, then I be the guy. No. You have to be the person first. You have to be him. See, me, I wanted to be the millionaire. I wanted to be the successful guy, the fittest guy. I wanted to be a great talker, a great influencer. I wanted to be able to help people. I wanted to be that billionaire. I wanted to be that powerful source of God. I had to be it when I had nothing. I had to be it when I had nothing in my apartment. I had nothing in my bank account. I was faking it. You know, you'll see me, you'll thought, but I was being it. And I was being it for so long that I got it. I mean, that I was doing it. I was being it. Then I did it. Then I got it. Be, do, have. Be the person first. You want to be a millionaire? Be a millionaire first. You don't need the money to dress sharp. You don't need the money to be able to communicate. You don't need the money to be positive. You don't need the money to be a giver. You don't need the money to give someone a compliment. You don't need the money to sell someone that they're doing an amazing job. You don't need the money to work harder on your dream while everybody else is sleeping. You don't need the money to not to go to the club on the Friday night, on the weekend. You don't need money for that. You just need to make a decision. So you know what? Everybody else is going to go to the club tonight. Everybody else is going to have drinks. They're going to have fun. Great. But I'm going to be the millionaire I'm going to be this amazing person I'm trying to be today. Because check this out. Once you have it, and once you become it, you got the money, right? You got everything that you want. Your friends, you, you don't want to hang around them anymore. You know why? Because they're going to want you to pay the tab. I, I, I promise you guys, they're going to want you to pay the tab at the restaurant. You go out, they're going to expect you to pay the tab at the club. I've experienced it, right? They're going to want you to take care of what you got it. Because see, everybody around you, when you make it, they still average. They're still poor. They still don't know how to manage their finances. They're still living from take paycheck to paycheck, month to month. But you changed. Because you decided to be the person now. And what I'm telling you, Wesley Million Dollar Virgin, if you're interested if you want your life to be better, if you want to make millions of dollars, if you want to be a part of the 3% that, that, that control their destiny, it's time for you to be it now. Just be it. Say, I am it. You know, no one has to validate you. Some of you guys, you go to college for four years, and until those four years is over, you say, okay, now I got a bachelor's degree. Okay, I'm a bachelor's degree. Oh, now I have a master's degree. Oh, I'm a doctor. I got a PhD. You wait on somebody else to validate you. Do you understand that when I became a trainer, I didn't get certified at first. I said, I'm a trainer. I don't need anybody to validate me. I don't need a test to tell me who I am. 
Some of you guys are waiting on somebody else to validate you and say, you know what? You know, people every day, they come to me, well, Wesley, what do you think I should be doing? <laughs> I'm like, you're asking me? You want other people to tell you what you should be in life. You watch the, the commercials, the infomercials, you see Remington College. Hey, come to college. Hey, come to ITT Tech. Hey, come to UTI. We have a job waiting for you. Bullshit. You want somebody else to tell you how you should design your life. And what I'm saying, take ownership. Take ownership of your life. This is your life. You live it how you want to live it. No one will ever tell me, Wesley Virgin, how to live my life. Never. Never. Why? Because God told me if I want it and if I believe it, I can have it. God didn't say go to school. God didn't say go get a good education. God didn't say go get a master's degree. God didn't say go to, go to training. He didn't say that. He said if you want it, if you believe it, if you conceive it, you can have it, period. And since that was the conditions, that's what I did. Most of you, you're still, you're living in this culture of averageness. And it's because you're around average people. You have other people that are orchestrating, they're driving your life. Right? They're in your car, you're in the passenger, and they're driving you. They're telling you how to feel, they're telling you what to do, they're telling you what's stupid, they're telling you what's good, they're trying to give you advice. They say, oh, no, 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 you shouldn't be doing that. Hey, you got to be careful about that. Hey, I went to that, that didn't work. You have your friends who have nothing just like you, or they want the same thing that you want, and you're taking advice from them. Folks, tonight, I dare you. I dare you to get off your butt tonight and go to Walmart, go to CVS, go to Walgreens, go to your local drugstore, and go get your journal. I dare you to get passionate and get serious about your life. I dare you to do what the 97% of people in the world right now, they're partying, they're having fun, they're drinking, they're doing drugs, they're doing everything but designing the life that they deserve. I dare you to get up. I dare you to get serious about what comes into your mind. I dare you to release some of those dumbass friends that's in your life that you know they're sucking the energy out of you. I dare you to get away from the negative people. I dare you every single day and write what you want. I dare you to create a new story for your life. I dare you every single day to be excited by the story about the things that God or the world or the universe is going to unleash in your life. I dare you. I dare you to do it. But you know what? Most of you won't. You won't do it. You just look at me, right? You're like, man, that guy, is, he's intense. That guy is really intense there with that green shirt on. Man, he says some good stuff. And you'll turn off the video and you won't do nothing. And I ask myself, why? But you know what a great guy by the name of Jim Rohn said? You know who Jim Rohn is? He's a great motivational speaker. God rest his soul. This man saved my life. I never met him. I wish I did. He says, Wesley, some people will, some people won't. And he says, why? And you know what he said? He said the most amazing thing. Let me tell you why some people, like after this video, is going to go get a journal. They're going to start writing tonight. And some of you are going to turn off the video and do nothing. And he said this. He said, because that's the way it is. That's how it is. He said the most profound statement. He said, this is the way it is. So think about it. Like sun. The sun comes up. Goes down. Why? It's just the way it is. Why does it rain sometimes? Why does it why is it sunny sometimes? It's just the way it is. 
summer, after fall. With, I mean, it's just the way it is. Which means there's nothing I can do to make you do anything. The only thing I can do is be a catalyst. I can be that source of knowledge, of energy of someone that I've made it. I'm grateful that I've made it. I'm grateful that I have millions of dollars. I'm grateful that I'm living the dream. I'm grateful to people that watch me all over the world. But I cannot make you do anything. I can provoke thought in your mind. I can influence you. I can give you tools. I can say you're a winner. I can say you're worthy. But I can't make you get off your butt and take action towards your dreams. I'm not able to do that. That's your responsibility. I can't call you every morning, hey, get up, get up. Hey, get up, get up. Remember your dream, right? Remember your dream. No. Some of you, you want someone to always be in your ear, motivate you. You know, I hate when people say, hey, man, I need you to motivate me. Like, what? Motivate you? You want me to motivate you? You can't motivate yourself? <laughs> what does it look like me motivating you? I'm going to motivate you every month. Hey, get up. Hey, get off your head. Hey, get up. Then if I say, well, pay me $50,000 a month, I'll motivate you. I'll pour water in your freaking face to get you out of that bed. You might, what? I, I can't afford that. You don't need motivation. You need a why. <laughs> you need a journal. You don't need no motivation. Everybody that's watching this video does not need motivation to do something. Why? Because you got Wesley Virgin, me. I have a website, WesleyVirgin.com, where I tell you and I show you what I've done in the past seven years when I had nothing. When I was broke like a joke, they repoed everything. I filed bankruptcy, I was fired, I was kicked out of my apartment, I stayed on the floor of my friends. I have been there. And I tell you strategically how I came from nothing to the man that you see today. Which means there's no excuse for you. It's no excuse. Don't tell me that you need motivation. Don't you tell me that someone is not helping you. Don't you tell me that, well, I need a mentor. I need someone just to, just to show. I'm showing you. I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have anybody to show me. I was watching various different videos, and I was putting the pieces together like a puzzle. But I'm giving you a direct blueprint, a straight line to success here. But if you don't do anything, shame on you. But I dare you to get up right now. Right now. You should be off this video. Go on to the store. Start your journey. Write it down. I am a millionaire. I am great. I am profitable. I am prosperous. I am a winner. I am strong. I am courageous. Write it down. Then write in the story for your life every day. Today, I just got up thanking God that I never have to go to that job ever again. Hallelujah. I have a business that's running on autopilot. Everybody is happy in my family. I only attract great things in my life. I'm going to Hawaii to hang out butt naked on the beach to get a nice tan. I feel the lady rubbing the sun tan lotion across my beautiful skin. My smile is bright. The sun is bright. Thank you, God. I have won. That's what you need to write in your journal. Whatever you want. So, let's recap. First thing, do not write down, I want something. As your goal in your journal, don't write down, I want this. Say, I have this. And be detailed. Not, I just have a Lamborghini, I have a Rolls Royce. Well, I have a blue, beautiful Rolls Royce on 24 inches rims. With the Rolls Royce, I have the version that has the stars. Did you know that every Rolls Royce doesn't have the stars? That is a optional item. You have to add that on. Just to let you know that, right? <laughs> the stars, right? And the star that's providing me lighting. So when I'm recording a video or talking to my wife or to my husband or to my friend, they can see me properly. Okay? And I can feel the AC hit my... Your detail. Your detail. The more detail you get, 
the feeling inside of you, whew, you start to feel it. And guess what? You start to start dreaming. You start to daydream. Right? You're like, oh man, this, is, this feels good. Wow. What else do I want? And guys, it's like a kid going to the candy store. You can have whatever you want. Write it down. Guys, that's it. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video here, I'm Wesley Million Dollar Version. I am here all day, all night. Um, my Snapchat is 7 Day Fitness. Or my website is WesleyVirgin.com. Or you can follow me on Instagram at Wesley Million Dollar Version as well. Um, guys, also, watch this video again. Now, this is the millionaire talking to you, right? I know, I know you guys want to make this paper, right? This moolah. Watch this video again. Repetition is the mother's skill. And before I go, I want everybody to do one thing for me. Everybody that's still watching this video, that's stuck in there, below, I want you to write down who you are. If you're a millionaire, I'm a millionaire. If you're prosperous, say, I am pro I want you to start the process right now. I want you to use the word I am, then I want you to say, I have. And it's whatever that you want most. Like me, I wanted a Lamborghini, baby, and I got it. I said, I got a beautiful black Lamborghini, 610 horsepower, racing exhaust, beautiful, playing bad and bougie, cooking the dope with a little Uzi, right? I want you, everybody that's watching this, this is the first step, guys, towards your dream. Below, just write down, I am whatever it is, fill in the blank. Then I want you to write down, I have this. Come on. Come on, who's doing it? Come on. Come on. There you go. I love it. I love it. I love it. The son. There you go. Everybody. Just don't watch me, guys. Let me share something with you. See, most people don't take action when someone like myself gives them information to help them fix or create their dreams for their lives. And the people that don't take action, nothing ever happens for them. But the people that are bold, the people that are not worrying about the friend to the right or to the left, they're not worried about who's going to see this. They said, this is what I want, and I'm not scared. And I'm not embarrassed about it. This is what I want, and guess what? I'm worthy of it. I want all of you right now. I don't care if this is the replay. I want you to write down right now, I am below. I am a millionaire. I'm a billionaire. I'm great. I am worthy. Uh, I, I am whatever you want to be. I'm a great speaker. I am a teacher. I am put I am and put I have. And that's whatever you want. And make it big. I have the house of my dreams. I have the motorcycle that I've always wanted. I have the car of my dreams. I have the children that I've been waiting for. Whatever you want, because that is personal. But I want you to make it public to people and public to yourself. Does that make sense? Write it down. Type it. And that's it. Guys, I love you. I'm thankful for you. I'm getting ready to go to Hawaii for about a week or so. So I'm going to do my best. If you want to follow me on Snapchat to see what I do. See, you know, how a millionaire lives. Uh, and how he, you know, how I mean, I live the dream, baby. All day long. Um, just follow me on Snapchat at 7 Day Fitness. That's spelled out 7 Day Fitness. Share and like this video if you want to contribute to another person's life. Okay? If you want to help somebody else. If you don't want to help anybody, just don't share. But if you do want to help somebody else, just like I've helped you share this on your timeline, let the person, let people filter themselves out, right? Some people are going to watch it, some people are not. It's okay. We don't need a lot of millionaires, guys. Just make sure. We don't need, somebody got to wash cars, right? Somebody got to teach the kids. Somebody go clean the windows. Somebody got to clean the room. Somebody got to clean the house, clean the refrigerator. Somebody got to wash the clothes, right? Somebody got to do the tax. Somebody got to do those jobs for us, but, right? But me and you, we millionaires, baby. Somebody got to live the dream. And I've chosen to live the dream. And I believe all of you have chosen to live the dream. But it starts today. Hey, much love. I love you guys. Go get your journal tonight. Go! Go! Get your journal, baby. Go! Write it down. Manifest. Write down your dreams in the present tense, guys. This is Wesley, Million Dollar Virgin. I love you. Much love. Later.